Duality is a collaborative project. I worked with the writer Seanan Gilligan. Together we made the artist book, which is central to the exhibition, in response to visits to the Curra camp and the museum in County Kildare. I responded to her writing and she responded to my images. Working with Seanan made me consider the narrative of my own work. We are both interested in the concepts of belonging, collective and individual land memory, and the materiality of the Corrid camp. My work is made up of paintings, photographs and prints. The original objects for the still life prints are held in the museum in the Corrid. I'm interested in museums because like families, they are containers of memories and objects, people and place. The exhibition is about recovering what is lost along the way and striving to capture what is unsaid. So this is Krill as in Krillshire, as in forest. It's how the branches and tendrils of the trees can look like coloured transparencies. The veins of light, line and colour seeping into their surroundings. So there's almost a seepage between the veins, the capillaries and the surroundings, as if we're talking about liquid, not just material fixed entities. To some extent we could be looking at inside arboreal life, at a respiratory system of chlorophyll and in fact you could be looking inside a branch because this looks like colour transparencies of chlorophyll that you learn in botany and about the inner circulation of life within branches and leaves and trees. So in a, in a curious way you get this interplay between the inner and the outer. We are looking at outer world, but in fact it could be the inner life of trees that we're looking at at the same time. And that's why I think the exhibition is called Duality. This dialogue between inner and outer, word and image, which Shauna Gilligan's words play off the time. Past and present, as we'll see, now and then, here and there. All the images are in some kind of dialogue with these kind of oppositions. And in a sense, that is part of what the exhibition is trying to convey. The impression of liquid and translucence or transparency found in water colours adds to the shifting boundaries, giving the impression that we too are always in circulation and should not be fixed or set in our ways. So I think there's an implication coming through that we as human beings are so set in our ways and are so fixed that to remind ourselves that we are in circulation, that we are processes of circulation, is part of what this exhibition is about. In hanging the exhibition, I wanted to create a feeling of being surrounded by trees, almost being contained within them. The paintings are of trees from my great uncle Innes McNulty's garden in Ackle Island. The trees are also witnesses to his memory as an internee in the Curra camp in the 1940s. The two photographs hanging on opposite walls are of Tintown and the Glass House in the Curra camp. Standing between them, the viewer is contained, immersed in the emotional impact of the body of work.